Good evening everyone, time for another member update. So once again, here is the first Majestic Silver price over the Silver price. I told you last time, I thought it looked like we were going lower and that's exactly what happened when I made that video. We were up around 13 bucks on First Majestic. You can see we're now down at 10.77. A really dramatic fall, straight red candlesticks and the last one this candlestick today is not, uh, that's not a bullish candlestick. Uh, we're going to show you some other stuff on the silver chart in a second that shows you it's not bullish either. But uh, so you can see the correction has come all the way back down now to where uh, it broke out. Uh, silver was uh, even at higher at times. So first Majestic now is pretty much been destroyed. Uh, it's probably going to go lower. It's going to at least be a two-thirds, maybe a three-quarters correction. So it's going to get real ugly. The reason I concentrate on this is because we had a lot of people in the community touting the miners. And I'm not going to name any names, but a lot of times when you hear an interview, some CEO or some partner, somebody selling something and some mining company is on there touting some stock, and it's very, very dangerous because you have to ask the question, what's in it for them? And I think you know the answer. So you know my position on this. I've always warned that it's the height of stupidity to buy a paper asset that's based on a suppressed physical commodity. And that's exactly the situation that we have. So Again, based on these two charts over each other, we're going lower from here. And that's going to be the big issue is when to pull the trigger because we're going to want to pull the trigger. We're going to cover the issue of shortages arising and if we're at that point yet and how that's going to inform whether we want to pull the trigger. But we want to get to just the silver price itself first. And I want to show you the volume action here and show you the reason why I don't think we've found the bottom yet. So just based on volume analysis, you can see in this series of breakdowns that we've had here, um, we had a breakdown on fairly significant volume here that coincided with this volume down here. You can see that the reaction on that volume was very weak. Uh, any type of V bottom formation uh, will give you a rise back up to where the shoulder broke down and then sometimes it falls, other times it rallies. This was a very, very weak reaction to that type of fall. And you can see it rolled over very quickly. The next sell off brought us into new lows, not significantly new lows, but on significant volume right here. And again, the reaction was weak. Uh, it was a better reaction than the last one because it got a sort of a V formation. But then you can see the other shoulder just fell off. Now the last sell-off that we've had just today, you can see a significant sell-off from 1780 to 1710, a large percentage move on significant volume, not a volume spike, but sustained selling. And again, we see this type of reaction of things just kind of not even bouncing, just uh, going sideways, just like it did there. So that tells me we're going lower again. How much lower? I don't know. That's one of those things that you have to judge when it's happening, and I'm fully convinced that this is going to be one of those buying moments where you're going to have to pull the trigger possibly in the middle of the night. It's going to be on a dramatic sell-off perhaps a sell-off down to $15, maybe even a sell-off down to $14. I don't know, but I think it's probably going to be a dramatic sell-off and then probably a violent reaction back up. Uh, one of the targets is going to be right here at this support, and that's the previous high before we got that uh, all-time bottom and then rally. And that price is going to be right at about 16 25 16 bucks. So we could get a bounce below there. I would say if you start to see significant volume on violent selling, 
coming in around that 16 price, that may be a good trigger point. Now, as to the question of are the shortages beginning, we'll look at the Silver Doctors article first. This is silver demand roars back. U.S. Mint sells 1 million silver eagles in a single day. Quote, we've never seen anything like this. SD bullion market update. With silver prices smashed 11% in 48 trading hours, physical silver coin and bullion demand has roared back to life. To put the surge in silver bullion investment demand into perspective, SD bullion processed approximately 550 transactions and moved through nearly $2.5 million in bullion on Tuesday, roughly 20% of September's entire sales totals. SD Bullion CEO and co-owner Dr. Tyler Wall stated, quote, we've never seen anything like this. The volume of demand we experienced on Tuesday surpasses anything we've ever seen, and that includes quarter three of 2015. Our outlook on the physical market just changed substantially. We're doing everything we can to ensure our customers have access to gold and silver bullion throughout the fourth quarter. I expect the rest of the market is doing the same. The silver bullion market began to show early signs of physical tightness Wednesday, the day after silver prices were rocked down to $17.65, down over $2 from a high of $19.77 just Friday. The U.S. Mint sold 1.03 million 2016 Silver Eagle coins in 24 hours, nearly matching the Mint's sales for the entire months of July, August, and September. Wholesale premiums on 90% junk silver coins have jumped sharply, another early indicator of supply concerns closely watched by the market. So there's a number of indicators here. Now the question is, are we starting to see those shortages? Now, the first thing before we look at that I wanted to point out here is the significance of this buying, the, set, the selling of the Silver Eagles and uh, the other sellouts that we have here. And what does it mean? Well, the main takeaway from this is that people are buying silver because they value it as a fundamental investment. Because the only way you're going to get these types of buying panics on sell-offs like this is if people are waiting around to get silver cheap. Uh, you don't have technical traders or people who are speculators looking for uh, a quick trading profit. They don't buy something on a, on a massive decline. That's not what a trader does. That's not what even an investor does. That's what a fundamental uh, stacker does. So this is a change in the nature of the market to where the silver market is becoming increasingly, the physical silver market is becoming increasingly dominated by stackers. And that's a good thing because I think that a large percentage of these stackers do not intend to sell their silver anywhere near these prices that they're getting it for. So these are strong hands that are buying the silver on these dips. And that's a very bullish sign. So the question is, is the shortage starting? And I'm going to show you a couple of reasons why I don't think so yet. Now, if you remember, I covered the premiums on the 90% silver bags. The first thing I want you to notice here is this is the first time in quite some time that I've seen the all of the dealers here have the 90% bag. Now, admittedly, the percentage is, is fairly high given long-term historical figures. You know the video that I did on uh, the silver cycle and how silver is no longer being recycled because of junk being uh, at such a high premium over spot. There's absolutely no reason to take that junk and melt it down, but rather just to resell it. Well, it appears that there's enough junk out there for these guys to get it and resell it. Now, admittedly, uh, that's still fairly high, but that is not as high of a premium as we've seen when we had severe shortages. I remember seeing 22 and 23% premiums on 90% bags. Now, the Silver Eagle premiums are pretty high. The best one is 14%. The rest of these are uh, the ones that are 14%, there's others up around 19 or 20%. You get a little bit cheaper when you get into the maple leaf, and it looks like the bars are fairly close here. Uh, there's 100-ounce bars, and you can see everybody's got them, and they're hovering around 2%, 3%. 
So this is not tightness in the physical silver market. That is not the sort of thing you see when you've had a buying frenzy and the people have bought it all up. Uh, we're not at that point. That's another thing to point to lower prices. So if we're expecting lower prices, then of course the thing we want to look for is what we want to buy when we pull the trigger. So I'm going to cover my two favorites right now, and that's going to be the half ounce and the one ounce rooster. Uh, you can see here, this is JM Bullion. I think they've got around a thousand of each. And then we've also got Provident Metals. I think they've also got about a thousand of each. The one ounce rooster is cheaper over on Provident, whereas the half ounce is higher and it's the reverse on JM. So 1267 for the half ounce, that's fairly close to the price that I was paying for half ounce dragons half ounce goats uh, I don't think the half ounce monkey got that low but uh, 12 and 13 dollars I love to pull the trigger around 9 or 10 and uh, 11 is good but 12 anything in the 12s isn't bad either and especially if these prices are changing and they are because I've been watching them so these are the prices that you watch when we get a violent sell-off in the market you might get a 50 cent decrease in the price of this coin, you might get a dollar off of this coin. You might be able to get this coin for 25 bucks and on some kind of violent sell-off. And I think if you can, that's going to be the time to buy. We know that what silver does is it snaps back. And what happens when you buy on days like that, say if it's a day like here, or if it's a day like here, uh, not so much as, as this low bottom that was formed. That's fairly unusual. Uh, but that again, that was during December. So this was this was during a period when a lot of the coins weren't available. But if you get one of these spikes down and you manage to pick up some coins there, when that happens, you can see you can get a dollar discount. It snaps right back up, and you've basically gotten a dollar off the price of the coin. So it's really worth your while to watch for those violent sell-offs. I think one is coming. And uh, you can see that, just a little bit more technical analysis here, you can see that the trend line is clearly broken. There's no mincing words here or trying to draw it in a friendly way. No matter how you draw it, uh, that trend line is broken. And uh, so that's a bearish signal. That's another thing that is bearish. That's three bearish signals I'm seeing. Uh, the volume is just not there. We would expect to see higher volume than we saw here. Let me get the arrow here. If this drop here is the low, and I don't think it is, we would expect to see volume at least higher than that or higher than this volume here. So again, for all those reasons, I think we're going lower. I think it's going to be a dramatic sell-off moment, and I think it's going to be a tremendous buying opportunity. Now, the last one I wanted to show you here is the one that I came across on Gainesville, and that one I was looking for to see if they had the deal on the, the new roosters, uh, but they didn't. But I did come across this one ounce that apparently, I don't know, maybe somebody had it stocked on a shelf or forgot about it. I'm not really sure what this is, but this is kind of a gamble, but I think it's a pretty good bet. It's a one ounce year of the snake. It, it's not colorized. Normally you see these deals on the colorized. And the reason why is I've done videos on it before. I believe that the colorized coins end up going for less than the regular coins just because silver purists don't like colorized coins. And if you really strongly believe in silver, why do you want color on your silver? I think that's ultimately what's behind it. But you can see here that as low as 25.38 for this coin, if we get some kind of sell off, maybe another dollar off that around $24, if you can buy 101 or more of these coins and get yourself a Lunar Series Snake, which is 2013 so that's old it's got the premium built in but it's also a privy 
again, that's a gamble, but generally the privies, they do pretty well. So they've got about a thousand of those left. This is one I'm really going to keep an eye on too. Uh, I can't say how many I would buy. I wouldn't probably wouldn't be able to get that 2538 price. I might not pull the trigger on that many, but I might. But uh, this is one I'm definitely keeping my eye on. I believe that we are coming. We are within days now of some type of serious volume bottom that is going to be a very good buying opportunity. You want to watch silver very closely. I'm going to come onto the member site. If I do pull the trigger, when I do pull the trigger, I will post when I did it and what I bought. So I'll put it right there in the chat so you can know. Be watching very closely because uh, it's getting close to that time. And we'll talk to you next time.